Today on Let's Fish TV, we are at Lake Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee is located in South Florida and it is known for its giant bass, but today we're going after a crappie. You know, we have a big cold front coming in and I'm gonna show you today just how you can dip in and around that cover, use Active Target 2 to catch those big slabs even when the weather is cold. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That's a big one right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the southeast region every week. You ever caught a fish that big? No! <laughs> Got him. Now the day. Mm. There you go. Another redfish. Got, Got him it. now. That's what Let's Fish TV is all about right there, guys. Welcome to Let's Fish TV. I'm your host, Andrew Upshaw, and today we're at the Big O Lake Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee sits with over 451,000 acres of water and is an enormous lake. It's full of canals, cattails, bass, and what we're targeting today is crappie. You know, the crappie fishing here is fantastic. Probably some of the best in the state of Florida. Today we're gonna be using a couple different techniques, using Active Target 2 to catch some in open water, as well as jigging in and around reeds and brush for spawning crappie. We'll also have this week's fishing report from your local region from our insider reporters. In the meantime, I'm gonna get this Bass Cat Mercury launch, get everything set up, and we'll toss it back to the studio for your weekend plan. Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us once again. We at Let's Fish TV want to wish you a happy and blessed Easter weekend. The Salooner Tables are predicting poor game fish activity on Saturday and fair activity on Sunday. Look for peak game fish activity to begin at 4.35 on Saturday and 5.34 early Sunday morning. Late afternoon action will begin around 5 o'clock on Saturday and 5.59 on Sunday. Depending on your area, expect the sun to rise around 719 and set around 748. And this weekend, we'll have a moon that is 77% visible. Stay in the loop with Let's Fish TV's latest fishing adventures and tips by joining us on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget, Andrew will be doing an academy tour. So look to our social media pages to see when and where he will be next. guys oh man look at that one that's a nice one there Woo! there we go welcome to lake okeechobee that's what i'm talking about guys today we're in southern florida crappie fishing you know we're doing a couple different things today a combination of dipping and jigging around reeds and using our lawrence active target 2 to catch these fish that's a really really nice slab open water canal crappie. Now, one thing about it, guys, we have a big weather system coming in today, and that is gonna trigger these big crappie into biting. Let's get this fish back. We're gonna talk a little bit more of where we're at, what we're doing here in Florida. All right, guys, today we are in Lake Okeechobee, Southern Florida. You know, I just finished fishing a bass fishing tournament here. The bass fishing was great, but I heard the crappie fishing was even better. So I had to come out here and test it out. We got a big weather system coming in. We had a cold front come in this week and it really changed things up. That last fish I caught was actually a female full of eggs. You know, a lot of the fish have already spawned here. And right now we're in the Indian Prairie Canal. This is a really popular canal for crappie fishing. There's boats up and down here, jigging the reeds and fishing open water, whether they're trolling or jigging. Today, we're gonna to be doing a little bit of both. I've already had a couple of bites, one up next to the reeds and one out here in the middle. I have a feeling today is gonna to be a good day. You're not gonna to wanna to miss today's episode. Florida fishing is always fun and crappie fishing is even better. So y'all stay tuned. We'll see you here in just a second. Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Lone Star Lakes brought to you once again by Freeman Toyota. Offering you a seven year, 100,000 mile free warranty on your new car purchase as well as three years free oil changes and free tire rotations. Now this week we've come to beautiful Lake of the Pines in East Texas and we're fishing the upper third of the lake for bass. These fish are spawning right now and you'll see them on the beds and you'll see them cruising the bedding areas. And we're gonna start the day with a topwater. 
Yes, it's a little early in the season for topwaters, but a frog or a buzzbait over the top of these fish will really anger them, it'll aggravate them, it'll make them mad, and they'll strike, not because they're hungry, but because they're angry. So, do that for the first hour or so of the morning, see if you can't get a couple of quick bites and maybe a really big fish. Once that plays out, or if it's not successful immediately, go ahead and switch over to your Ochos in a watermelon red or a green pumpkin type color. Use your swim jigs in a white, white chartreuse or black blue, depending on water clarity. And then a little bit later in the day, I'm gonna go with a bladed jig and maybe even a Texas rigged lizard on a mini Carolina rig. And when I say that, it's Texas rig, or I can slide it up this way to make it a little short, Carolina rig to fish those spawning areas. Now, over at Lake Fork, the crappie have moved off the deep water. They're moving up into the creeks to spawn. Halfway or so back in a creek, start looking for brush piles, thick brush along the edges of the creek. You'll drop your minnows or your crappie jigs in there to catch those Lake Fork crappie. That's this week's Lone Star Lakes. Check us out on Facebook, Lone Star Lakes. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a nice one. Just jigging in and around these reeds. God, look how fat that fish is. I mean, he's full of eggs right now. The spawn is on here at Lake Okeechobee. You know, the cool thing about Okeechobee is that you can use a variety of techniques to catch these fish. You know, known as one of the best crappie destinations in the state of Florida, Okeechobee is enormous and it offers a lot of different uh, ways to catch these crappie. It has white and black crappie. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. Let's get this fish back. It's a really pretty fish, full of eggs, so it get back on its bed. You know, they're spawning in and around these grass beds. You know, whether it be flat reeds, round reeds, uh, the Kissimmee grass, there's a bunch of different types of vegetation they like to spawn around, but the one key thing is having a hard bottom. Today we have a big cold front coming in, and so it's triggering these fish to bite. You know, so what we're doing today is not only are we jigging around these flat reeds for spawners, we're also going out in the middle and using our active target too. And I wanted to show you both ways of catching them just in case maybe you didn't have active target that you could just get a long pole and start jigging. You know, when it comes to picking the right bait, we're gonna talk about that here in just a few minutes, but I'll talk about the bait first and color is just as important, but the bait that I'm using today is the Mr. Crappie Joker. Anytime that I'm jigging the bait around cover, I really like that body profile. It has three little legs on it. It sits horizontal in the water and that is a big, big key. But when you're jigging crappie, it's all about fishing slow. You're not hopping it real fast like you're bass fishing. You wanna keep that bait in the fish's face or where you think the fish is and keep it a, just a tight line. Anytime you hear people jigging, sometimes I used to think jigging a spoon where you're jerking it up off, off, off the bottom, but in a sense of crappie, all you're doing is dipping it around real slow and methodical, and that's how you're gonna land those fish. But I'm gonna get back to it. The fish are biting here at Lake Okeechobee. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism, Let's Fish on Alabama's beaches, Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Wow, look how fat that fish is. That thing is full of eggs right now. That big one's still there. That's the one I want to catch. Oh, wow, there's like four of them there. Oh, they spooked. Really? Oh, here they come back. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, Ooh, come here. Come here, Mr. Crappie. Look at the fatness of this crappie. Oh, my gosh. Wow, look how fat that fish is. That thing is full of eggs right now. What an awesome fish. Goodness gracious. Lake Okeechobee, guys, I'm gonna tell you, this might be one of my new favorite places to come crappie fishing. When they get fat like that, that is so much fun. 
Let's get this fish back. We'll talk a little bit more about what we're doing. The right colors when you get to this body of water. When it comes to catching these spawning crappie, you have to have the right equipment. You know, I'm actually using a 14 foot pro target rod. This is a Wally Marshall lose rod. It's made for using with active target or forward facing sonar, but I really like it as a jigging pole as well. So I kind of use it for a couple of different things. Now my setup today, this is my standard forward facing sonar setup. Having the tungsten bead with two bobber stoppers and an eighth ounce this is a, a slab sl slasher jig head, Mr. Crappie jig head, uh, but it's an eighth. So a lot of times when I'm casting in open water and stuff like that, and I'm actually using a smaller rod, I'll be using a 16th or a 32nd ounce. But when I'm jigging, I like that little bit of heavier head. Now, the, the reason I'm using the heavier head today is so I'm not having to switch rods a lot. And that is a big deal because I'm going in open water, catching some that way, and then also going to the reeds and jigging. But when it comes to color, and that's what I was gonna to talk to y'all about, when it comes to color, picking the right color, especially on this body of water, is extremely important. I was told to always go with the pink head and either a white and chartreuse body, a solid white body, or a pink and white body. And that is a really good combination of colors. The brighter, the better, especially during the spawn. It seems like this time of year, you jigging around the reeds, you're gonna catch a mixture of post spawners and spawners, but it always seems like the brighter the colors, the more crappie you catch. So always remember that. If you're up in shallow water and they're spawning, bright colors. If you're out deep and they're on brush and stuff like that, the more natural you need to go, especially later in the summer. So guys, if you wanna have the most fun, especially right now, crappie fishing, you need to get to Lake Okeechobee. But I, with that being said, I need to get back out there and see if I can catch me a couple more. Hey friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here with this week's Let's Fish Outdoor Report, coming to you from Cage and Paradise Charters right here in Hackberry, Louisiana. Tell you what, we're gonna keep it on the saltwater scene. Old Bill Lake down there in Homa, they're starting to catch trout, lots of redfish. Tell you what, Hopedale, Delacroix, I've been seeing lots of good catches of redfish, but I tell you what, they're actually catching lots of speckled trout for this early in the year. Live shrimp seems to be the key. They're getting them from old Campos Marina down there. So, tell you what, just get out on the water there on the saltwater side on the other side of the state. Seems to be doing great. Also, some tuna action offshore out of Venice. Freshwater side of things. Tell you what, when the weather's warm, everywhere seems to be doing pretty good right now. You got a lot of brim and chickapee and bluegill moving up, spawning. Tell you what, Chaffly Basin, they're catching lots. Toledo Bend, all your lakes, Caney, Bistano, Darbone, the brim are up there spawning. Tell you what, white perch are up shallow too. And if you happen to catch one of those big old lunker bass, why don't you take a picture, weigh it, and let it go. For old Cajun Phil, I'm Captain Kevin Broussard saying happy fishing. May God bless. We're going to see you next week. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, come here, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice crappie there. Open water, active target to here at Lake Okeechobee. God, look how wide that fish is. You know, th today what we're doing is we're dipping around in the canals, around the cover, fishing spawning fish. But you know, the thing about spawning fish, they don't all spawn at the exact same time. And that's one thing that you always need to take into consideration. Even though people tell you they're spawning, sometimes they're sitting out waiting to spawn as well. So you can fish both ways to try to catch fish. So don't always feel like you gotta lock into one thing or another. One thing about it, this particular canal has a lot of boat traffic. And sometimes people may think that boat traffic is, is gonna actually hinder the fishing, but in fact, it makes it even better because it always turns up the bait and it always keeps the fish active. So don't be afraid to fish where there's boats running in and out. I know it's really easy to get frustrated when boats are moving in and out, but it does make the fishing better. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a good black crappie there. Oh, come here fish. There we go, man. Heck yeah. Check out the size of that black crappie. Just up there sitting around that mat. See, it just proves you that you can go around just about any type of vegetation here at Lake Okeechobee and catch really nice, thick crappie. This is not a really long crappie, but look how wide that thing is. It's crazy, crazy wide. You know, when it comes to crappie fishing, guys, like you can do it everywhere and anywhere all across the country and it's easily one of the best and most fun ways to catch fish. 
Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Powerful Total Boat Control. Balls Out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on. Challenge your limits. There we go. Wow. Look, I got him right in the top of the nose. A perfect spot. It's so thick right there. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. So it just goes to show you that it doesn't really matter what you're dipping around. Today we've caught them off flat reeds, semi grass, mats, and now a bush. Big fat belly. Get this fish back. Guys, when I came to Okeechobee, I came here for a bass fishing tournament and I had a really good event, caught a lot of bass. But I met a guy named Brad. He owns G3 Outfitters out of Okeechobee. And he told me, he was like, man, the crappie fishing is fantastic right now. Told me where to go, told me to come to this canal, especially since we had a lot of wind this day. And he was absolutely right. So if you get a chance, go check out G3 Outfitters. They're here around Okeechobee. If you come down here, he is always booked. So you can get on his website, check it out. You need to come down to Okeechobee though. The crappie fishing is unbelievable. And if you get tired of crappie fishing, you can go bass fishing too. And you can't beat either one of them. South Florida is the place to be. And I'm ready to go catch me a couple more crappie. I'll see y'all here in a second. Hi right, guys, Captain Taylor Burrow here with Wave Dancer Charters with this week's fishing report. Right now we just landed a big black drum and the drum run is in full effect right now. Uh, lots of sheephead being caught right now too. Uh, a few speckled trout, some slot reds, and bull reds in with the mix. Uh, offshore, the wahoo bite's been pretty good. Tuna bite has been pretty hot as well. Uh, lots of vermilion snapper. We've been having really, really good luck with butterfly jigs with grouper. Uh, and remember guys, if you wanna go fishing down here in Galveston, give us a call, thanks. Oh, I got him. There we go, that's a better one there. Oh, wow. That's a really good one. He's just gonna have to land on my jacket. That's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's not a bad Lake Okeechobee crappie. Man, oh man. Today has been a wonderful day. Big old fat belly. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. There we go. That's a nice one right there. There we go. Wow. Look, I got him right in the top of the nose. The perfect spot. It's so thick right there that you're gonna catch them every single time. Wow. What an awesome fish. We can get this fish back. The one thing that I've noticed about these crappie is they're so thick right now. They have such big bellies. You've got about a mixture right now. You've got some crappie that are post-spawn and some that are actively spawning. In this particular situation, that was a spawning crappie. It's a really, really big belly. I know that they've already spawned here. They spawned a little bit last month and they're spawning right now. We're coming off a full moon and that's something that you gotta really pay attention to. You know, no matter where you're at, when you get to spawning season of crappie, pay attention to that moon phase. Anytime you get that full moon, the fish are gonna pull up, especially in the next couple of months. And if you find those days, you're gonna have a really a lot of fun. It doesn't matter if you're dipping around bushes, uh, flat reeds, mats, uh, standing timber, whatever it may be. It's all about finding the right bait for the situation. In this situation, I'm using the Mr. Crappie Joker, but there's a lot of other great options out there. This is just happens to be my favorite. And that's the one thing that I stress to a lot of anglers is don't get so locked in on a bait because somebody, somebody told you to throw it. Go out there and try a couple different bait profiles and you'll eventually find a bait profile 
that you're most confident in. And that's all it's about, is finding confident baits. You know, the this particular joker, uh, the lightning shad is a really big player in my playbook. And you know, just finding those couple baits is a really big key. So this front is rolling in. I mean, we're under a tornado watch. The fishing is about to have to stop for us today. So we're gonna catch you back here at the boat ramp here in just a minute. And we're gonna talk about how we caught them, what we caught them on, if you ever get a chance to visit Lake Okeechobee. And maybe you'll be able to use these techniques in your neck of the woods. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lake Hartwell Country. Catch the feeling. Lose, feel the difference. Strike King, tie one on. And by Glacier Outdoor, outdoors since 1982. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. All right, guys, for this episode, we're at Lake Okeechobee, but today I wanted to bring you a little bit different how we caught them at Okeechobee. Now, whenever I was using, dipping in and around on those fish, I was actually using a Pro Target 14 foot rod. This is the exact rod I was using. And it was really a lot of fun. You know, I was dipping in around in a channel. I could go out in the middle. I could use Active Target 2, catch them. Or I could go to the bank where they were spawning. Right. I was bouncing back and forth. Right. But today I wanted to talk to you about a couple of different rod options that you can use the next time you're out there. Wally has a couple of different ones that maybe you should try the next time you're on the water. Well, I'll tell you what, right here, we have the Pro Target rear seat. This is a rod that I like to use when I'm doing forward facing sonar. I'll put me a spinning reel on here, or I'll use the solo reel, the solo reel where I can just strip off land like a fly reel and pitch tool. Mm -hmm. So I'm using a nine or 10 footer then also that I can pull up on the banks and I can get in that brush when they move up to spawn. You can catch the males up shallow and the females will be out in the creek bends. But I can also strip my line out, get it 10 foot deep, and I can actually pitch it right to the fish and hold it right above their head, catch them. Hey, I love the Pro Target rear seat rods. We make it at an eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 foot. That's awesome. You know, and today, or at that particular show, I caught them on one of your favorite baits, one of your signature baits, the Joker. Oh, and, the and Joker. The I love Joker. the Joker, yeah. The, the refrigerator white Sartreuse was definitely the color. Number 186. Yes, it was. Okay. Yes, it was, and, it, and they were absolutely chewing it. Pink head with the slab slash, slasher jig head. And, you right. know, that is the jig head that I turn to almost 99% of the time. Right, it is right. the one that I go to. But. You also handed me this bait casting rod. D tell me about this. What's Dude, going this on with is this? Brand new. This is brand new Pro Target rod for you guys that like to use bait casters. I actually make it in a 6'6, six, six, mm -hmm. a 7 foot, a 10 foot, and this 12 foot rod. And so we've got the handle here where you can cup it, keep your hand right here on the trigger with the, your thumb on the release, or set that drag really light especially on those big slabs and heavy cover. But this rod has so much power because this is IM8 graphite with wind grips, no slip grip, man. Oh, that's We're talking awesome. about, yeah. it's the real deal. It's brand new right here from Lou's. Yeah, and I actually have my hands on a couple of these. You're gonna see them in a few episodes this year on Let's Fish TV. And you know what else you're gonna see on Let's Fish TV? Is this guy. He's gonna be guest hosting another episode this year. So make sure y'all stay tuned this summer. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the water.